Have you ever wondered how you can make 500k on one flipping deal? Well, my good friends, I've been at it for a while and I've been doing this. And today I am going to show you a deal that we can make 500k. And uh, I think flips at the moment, this just quite a bit of them around. You know, if you're looking hard, you're looking in the right places, you'll be able to find them. So welcome to Wednesday Deal Day. It is a day where at the top of the hour, at the seven o'clock, I am always bringing you some good deals, South African times that is. And like no any other day today, it is Wednesday Deal Day. And this is the show where we get to make your money work for you. So I am going to be talking about this, you know, this segment, we've literally started calling it my flipping projects and we're bringing in some flipping projects. And if you are interested in any of these flipping projects, they are available. You can jump in and uh, I am just going to show you how we can be able to do that. Today's deal is going to give us 500k. I've closed it. It's on contract. What does it mean? We've paid some deposit on it. And I'm excited. I'm excited for you and I'm excited for me that we can be able to go and do this deal. So it is my flipping project. I get deals from many places. Um, and uh, within this, you know, a lot of people always ask me, TJ, where are you getting all these deals from? And I can't really tell you to say, I get these deals from this person or from this source. But because I network with many other people, because I've been in the game for a very long time, deals continue coming to me. This deal that we're talking about today, it's actually a bank repo. Uh, so for some of you might know what a bank repo is. Uh, basically what happens is that someone who owns a property, um, whether there is some form of lending, they went to the bank and borrowed some money, and they're not able to pay for this property. And the bank then says, hey, give us our money. They talk, whatever it is. And then at some point, the bank then says, give us back our property. Here is the thing. The banks are not in the business of holding assets. So the bank, naturally, they don't hold any assets. What they will do is they will then sell that property again. There's multiple ways that they sell them. The most common known one is at the auction, right? So we've been following this property for around about, um, it came onto our desk about 180 days ago, 180, 150 days ago. Uh, so that's just about, just about four months. We've been looking at this deal and uh, we've been doing some due diligence around it. We've been putting in some offers. It's been rejected. We put in another offer. It got rejected. And I've gone to see the, 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 uh, the people that were owning this property. And they said no to me. Eventually, they were repossessed by the bank. And we managed to catch this property just, like literally just before, just before the auction. Um, and we had to go through the whole process of the auction anyways. And thank God. Uh, there were not so many people at the auction and we caught the deal. That is the art on how we got this property. So this property, my good friends, um, I looked at the estate. It's a gated area. Um, it's in an area, I'm going to tell you just now what the name of the area. But I want to showcase to you the value, the property value. What I'm seeing here, where I'm seeing the gold. Um, in this complex, this property is valued at 1.9 million rand. Yep, 1.9 million rand. However, there's a mix of two beds, three beds, and four beds. So four beds is kind of like on the uppish market. And uh, this property that we're talking about, it's a four bedroom apartment. It even comes with a study on top of that. So it's not like um, one of your ordinary properties where everybody the simple joy is going to be buying this is like you know on the luxury side because it's also in a gated area and because it's also a four bedroom it's just below 200 squares so it's a luxury house now 
properties that sold low in this property, in this estate, um, they have gone for no less 1.7 million. But here's the thing. There is a property that sold and it is in the same size, same bedrooms. Uh, it's a lookalike. And this property sold for 2.6 million this time last year. So my good friends, I think we're in for a good gem on this property. But before we go in, like what we always do here, uh, we want to have in our own mantra. And our mantra, as you may see it on the screen here, it says, my heart is open, my mind is open. Help me, TJ, to make some money. At the top of counting three, we're going to do this together. Let's jump on. One, two, three. My heart is open. My mind is open. Help me, TJ, to make some money. The reason why we do this is because many a times this year is saying, yes, it looks like a good deal. But here, it's like, bah, 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 bah. I'm scared, I'm scared. Uh, so we want the two to align, and that's why we are always talking about my mind and the heart being open, and uh, yours, Sensei, can then be able to help you with making some mula here. Now, in the past, I have said this particular deal is coming from this area, uh, and sometimes I might not share the area, I might just show the area to a few people who are very, very interested in the deal. I'm always doing deals with many people. Uh, but this particular deal here, my good friends, it's in an area that's called Glen Vista. Uh, for some of you, you might know where this area is. It's in an area that is in Johannesburg South. And Glen Vista, it's an, I want to call it, and, and I don't know whether maybe that's statistically right, but that's what I see. When I go to Glen Vista, I see a higher population of my Portuguese friends, right? Uh, that's what I see in that area. However, it has become a metropolitan, you know, you get to see some Indian people there, get to see white people, white people, Portuguese white people. They're also white people, right? Um, well, other white people, like Africans people, like English people. Um, I've also seen quite a, a big vast of black people also in this area. So, but it's still a huge population of the Portuguese people. Uh, it's a beautiful area. I like Glen Vista. In and around Glen Vista is Malbatten. It's another neighborhood that I also like. I actually wished I had known about Malbatten before I bought my property. Maybe I would have stayed there, but I actually I didn't know about the, the south. When I came to Johannesburg, I was just exposed to the north, so I just fell in love with the north. But over the years, I've seen the south, and I'm like, whoo, they're very nice places here. Having said this, my good friends, I don't think that we are going to struggle to get to two million on this deal, right? Uh, in and around Malbatten uh, is Bassonia, uh, Glenanda is also around there. I'm just sharing with you if you don't know where Glen Vista is, right? But anyway, I'm sure you can Google it and you can check it out. So today's deal, it is a unit, right? So it's a unit in a gated neighborhood, and within this gated neighborhood, um, it's very cozy. However, today I do not have the walkthrough, because this is what we call the teaser to the deal. Those that are interested in the deal, you can holler at me on the number below, plus two seven seven eight four double two double six four seven. This is the deal of today. It is a four-bedroom apartment. We are buying it, and we're going to clean it up a little bit, and then we're going to sell it. When we sell it, we're going to make some profits, and bingo, my good friends, we're going to be in some moolah. There's around about 500000 for us to be making some moolah in here. I think on the topish end. Um, so, four bedrooms, three bedrooms, yeah, where, where do you get that today? Uh, it's got a patio, and obviously it's got some living space, which is uh, the study and the kitchen and the common area. Now, I had a look into this area, and you can you can check it out for yourself. I went into property 24. This is a two-bed apartment. So not a two-bed apartment. This is a four-bedroom apartment. 
uh, three uh, bedrooms, so which are three, two of them probably are in suite. And I looked at the properties that are on property 24, and I said, I want to see how much other four bedrooms are selling for. And bingo, there you are. Four bedrooms apartment, there is literally two properties. And you can see, I'm not advertising Remax or the other agents, I'm not. I'm just telling you what I saw on program, how I did my due diligence for us to see whether we can sell this property for four million or plus. When on property 24, I saw this and I was like, okay, at bare minimum, four bedrooms are selling at 2.3 million, right? That's what we're seeing here. If the person then negotiates a little bit and maybe they get us to like maybe 2.2, are we good for a deal? I'm like, yeah, I'm good for the deal. If that's the case, then we're going to be making some more mula. Right? Right? Good. But here are the numbers for us to actually be buying this property. The numbers are saying, we are buying this property at a whooping 1.3 million. Yes, my good friends. We've paid our deposit. That's number one. We have paid um, for other costs. There's like some loosened costs that we need to pay. And we are anticipating to be selling this property at no less 2 million rand. As you can see, uh, the numbers look great. Uh, the selling is already selling at 2.3. Ah, but TG, why, why don't you want to sell it for 2.3? Well, my good friends, I want to be making money quicker. So if we get an offer at 2 million, I'm going to sell it, right? And whoever who wants to stay in that property can stay it. We are here on the My Flipping Projects to turn our money. Buy the property, we clean it up, we sell it, we move on, bingo. This is a different strategy from all the other strategies that I've been doing. Uh, and I'm sure you can see it. Now, here is what we are going to be uh, doing. I've already put it on contract. So we've got the contract. We just need to pay the difference now, which is 90%. If you're interested in the deal and uh, you're like, TJ, I'm keen on the deal. And um, you want to learn how to do these things. Then they know the hot number to call us. And simply put, what we do is we buy these properties um, with me and my partners. And if you're wanting to become one of those partners, hey, you can jump on. And uh, on this deal, you are looking at a 500K that we are going to be making. And we share the profits, you know, um, with my partners and with different ways of doing that. And that, if that's you, and you're like, hey, TJ, I got some money, then you know the number. That's the hotline. Reach to us and i'll be able to facilitate all of that for you this is a cash deal what do i mean by a cash deal we're not going to bond it or anything like that we're just going to buy cash and wait on the right buyer to come and give us our two million and we move on it's a good deal right i think it is a good deal right thanks for watching before I go, the contact details, plus two seven seven eight four double two double six four seven, or if you're one of those keyboard warriors, you can drop us an email at hello at the tjtribe.com. And thank you for watching. I, I don't think I, I can come out like and do it like this if you're not watching, so I really appreciate it. And my good friends, if you know someone else who's interested uh, to be doing such kind of deals, you know, just forward the video to them and say, hey, there's this cat called TJ. This is what he's doing. Are you interested? And if they're interested, hey, we jump on. Uh, but other than that, I will see you at the next video right here at the TJ track. My name is TJ. Bam, bam. I think this is a good deal. Nah, it is a good deal. Yeah. Confirm with me, my brother. It's a good deal. Let me know in the comments. I think this is a good deal.